Hello everyone, thanks for being here. My name is Shen Yuhui from Nanjing University. Today, I'm going to show you an agile, wing-driven building machine design optimization workflow, which can enable architects to apply it to early stage design exploration. So first, come to the question, why I did this research? This is because the architectural form has a strong correlation with the wind. Performance factors such as daylighting, solar irradiation have been widely investigated. But wind-related factors such as wind pressure and pedestrian wind comfort are relatively rare. So it is very necessary to find the correlation between them. And because of the CFD simulation method, the wind-related design optimization is too time-consuming. What's more, the current simulation are always after the design to check the energy efficiency, while can't help the exploration in architect's early-stage design. Moreover, the generation efficiency of parametric model is too low and can provide different design directions as many as possible, which results in low design variability. So there are three challenges as below. First, how to promote design variability. Second, how to improve the computational speed of wind environment simulation. Third, how to synergize building meshing and wind optimization. In response of the challenges mentioned above, this paper presented a workflow using Evermas and GHWind in the Rhino Grasshopper environments. And this workflow consists three steps. First, it's generative agglomeration, keeps creating mass with high geometrical variability. Second, a simulation is conducted to calculate the performance of the generated building massing. And finally, an optimization process is carried out and pursue high performance design variants as a result. And this animation shows how the procedure works. And this is the first round and the second round and so on. And finally, we got the high performance design variants as a result. To demonstrate the efficiency of the optimization framework, a hypothetical case study is presented. The case study describes a building design in Nanjing, Jiangsu province in China. The urban area of Nanjing commonly suffers from unpleasant winters due to the cold winds from the north and the lack of sunlight caused by the dense urban fabric. First is the messing generation. Three optimization groups are run to investigate the influence of building volume characteristics on wind and sunlight accessibility. For each set of design, we differentiated the formal features by the parameter setup, including the number of mass elements and its size constraints. And it can be noticed that the design variants in S1 tend to be bulky, but those in S2 and S3 become more flexible in terms of the topological configuration. For the performance evaluation, both pedestrian level wind speed and sunlight hours were chosen as the main performance indicator. And we use SSIEA to achieve a good balance between design diversity and the fitness improvements. As for the simulation target, is to minimize the average wind speed in a predefined area surrounding the target building and maximize the average number of sunlight hours in a pre-flow area. To analyze the results of the case study, we use the elite design variants in each of the subpopulations as the results of the conducted optimization processes. And we can see that S1 tends to lay more mass elements on the ground, 
S2 and S3 can achieve a more compacted building massing volume. For the characteristics of the optimization results on the influence of, of wind field, we can see that when building volume is relatively low, there is a large wind shadow area. When the building volume is relatively broken, the wind effect weakens and the average wind speed rises. For the characteristics of the optimization results on sunlight accessibility, we can see that all the design variants can effectively reduce the surrounding mask effect and increase the sunlight hours. So here come to the summary of the research. The strengths and the weakness of the workflow can be shown as follows. As for the strength points, first, using GHWind and Evomas can speed up the optimization process. Second, the workflow can explore different design directions in architects' early stage design and increase the design variability. Third, Rhino Grasshopper platform is easy to use. As the first attempt at combining Avomas and GHWind, this study also bears certain limitations worth mentioning. First, the urban environment is not considered. Second, the case study only considered one season in winter. Third, building skin is not considered. That's all for my research. Thanks for your listening.